<clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? Uh, wanted to come at y'all uh, on a topic that I've made a video about a couple years back. And I was discussing about lying on job applications. Um, because, well, it's probably the biggest double standard I've seen, you know, or came across in, in all my years. Um, but what it is, is that, you know, uh, those of us people that, you know, have uh, criminal records, we uh, made mistakes in our lives. And, and let me just start by saying that uh, <clears throat> the only difference between people with criminal records and people that don't have criminal records is, is that those of us with records got caught. That's it. That doesn't mean that there are people out there just because they don't have a record that aren't criminals. Matter of fact, you can look at our lo local law enforcement and, and police officers. You know, uh, the guy that killed George Floyd, the police officer that killed George Floyd didn't have a criminal record before that, you know. So, uh, you know, so all that to say that, you know, a uh, criminal record just means that we've got caught. But uh, what uh, what this really what this video is about though is is talking about uh, the question on a job application saying that asking you if you have a criminal record. Now, what it is and what I'm going to say is is that you know I don't remember back when I went through all my court hearings and finalized everything, got all my fines paid off, did everything I was supposed to as far as my probation is concerned and everything else. Never once do I remember ever signing a waiver waiving my right to privacy. And what I'm talking about here is, is that, you know, when you mark that down on a job application, yes, I have a, uh, a criminal record. <laughs> That's what you're doing is you're waiving your right to privacy. You know, because God only knows who all is going to see that job application. Um, you know, yeah, most everything is, is electronic now, but, you know, who knows, is somebody going to hack into that database or whatever and get in there and, and see your information and see that, you know, hey, here's old John Doe, and uh, he's got a felony record, you know. And... Uh, you know, and the thing about it is, is that people see that and automatically pass judgment. It doesn't matter, you know, 30 years could pass uh, since you did that. But as soon as they see that you have a felony record, bam, the judgment is made, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so my thing is, and what I said in that last video, like I said a couple years ago, and that I'm going to say right now is, is that we should mark down no until... And what it should be is, is that should be an interview question, not something that we should have to uh, give up our right to privacy and mark down on, our, on the application. Uh, because I absolutely have no problem with sharing that information one-to-one, face-to-face -to -face with somebody, or even over the phone with somebody. But as far as writing it down on a document or putting it in a computer database somewhere, no, I'm not comfortable with that. And I... Again, like I said, waiving my right to privacy, you know. And so what I said a minute ago and what I'm trying to say in this video is, is that, like I said, it's a really big double standard. And that, you know, in the day and age that we live in, we can, you know, people can identify as whatever gender it is that they want to identify as. And, you know, on that questionnaire, uh, there's a questionnaire in almost all job, job applications that says you can opt out to answer that question if you're a male or a female. It also on there, you know, when it asks you about your race, you can opt out to answer that. You know, uh, one of the things that you will not see on a job application uh, because it's, you know, again, people's freedom, uh, freedom of choice and freedom of right is, it won't ask you on there if you're a homosexual. It won't ask you on there if you're a Christian. It won't ask you on there if you're, you know, whatever. Whatever your beliefs are or, you know, what your sexual orientation, it won't ask you those questions. But by God, it'll ask you if you have a, a criminal record. Now, don't get me wrong. 
uh, sexual crimes, you know, those people that have to, uh, <clears throat> you know, they have to go and report, uh, what I think once a month and everything. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, but those of us, you know, that, uh, <clears throat> you know, they, they weren't that type of crime and, you know, that kind of thing, like I said, you know, it's like I just waived my right to privacy. And how's that right? You know, like I said, this should be an interview question, not something that I should have to mark down on an application or put in somebody's uh, database somewhere <clears throat> so that somebody could come across it later and make judgments against me. So, again, like I said, you know, and, and take this how you will, but I don't... You know, I don't know of anybody that ever <clears throat> went through court proceedings and stuff and, and, you know, as criminals. And then from that point on, we've waived our right to privacy. Because, again, like I said, you know, the, <clears throat> the whole thing is, is that, uh, yeah, I made mistakes. But I should have the same right to privacy as other people do. And, and like I said... And this should be an interview question and not something that should have to be marked down on a job application or have to be written out. Because it'll even give you a little box on there. Hey, please describe. And then you just write it out for the whole world to see. And that's absolutely wrong, you know. And so, like I said, it's waiving our right to privacy. So, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, you know, if you're a felon and you're watching this video, I'm going to tell you right now, put down no. Put down no, and uh, in the little box, just put, you know, we'll, we'll discuss that interview, you know. And, uh, <clears throat> and then if they call you in for an interview, you know, just tell them, you know, right then and there, right to their face. But as far as marking it down on an application, no, because like I said, all you're doing is waving your right to privacy. So that's all this video was about, guys. Just wanted to real quick, you know, put this message out there and, uh, you know, like I said, the thing about it is, you know, it's hard enough for people with criminal records to find jobs, you know, <clears throat> uh, but it's also hard enough to try to get out from under, especially somebody like me or, like I said, somebody that, you know, it's been 30 years. Obviously, they're not the same person. It's hard enough to get out from under that judgment as it is. And then when we can't have a right to privacy and we have to put that down on job applications, you know, it's like having to relive that all over again. So, again, like I said, you know, uh, this should be an interview question and not something we should have to mark down on a job application. All right. God bless and y'all take care. All right. Bye.